Hi guys, this is AC Gamer back with another video on Snow Break. Now in today's video, what I want to do is talk about manifestation. Now manifestation is basically the dupe system in this game and I want to go over each individual 5 star character and talk about the most important manifestation. Now the good thing about this game is that duplicates are farmable which I absolutely love. So whatever 5 star characters you have right now, you can go ahead and farm duplicates. However, it is going to be important that you guys know which manifestation you guys are aiming for because in the long run, you basically just want to unlock certain team manifestation for the characters and then work for work on other five star characters in the game you don't want to just go balls deep or one particular character to get all the mass manifestation um uh, that you require so let me go ahead and show you something right now so the characters have manifestations over here now unlike four star characters you actually only need one duplicate per node or per um, section so um, when you get to duplicates of your character you get 60 shards that 60 shards is enough for you to open all of this node and it's the same thing for every single part of this now with four star characters you only get 30 for the duplicates you you get so essentially you need a lot more duplicates of four star characters to unlock the entire manifestation but that is fine we're only going to be focusing on five star characters now to benefit and to utilize this section or the personal files a lot better because you can essentially only be able to farm out two five star characters or two characters at the same time so essentially it's going to be important that you guys just go for the manifestation that will make the character a lot stronger so i'm going to be going over the ones that are very very important for your five star characters and hopefully you guys enjoy this video stay tuned for more content on snow break if you guys don't want to miss out on future content in the game make sure you are subscribed make sure that post notification in is on and if you guys find this video helpful useful which it should be because this is very very important then go ahead and click the like button let's go ahead and get 50 likes in today's video make sure you are subscribed and let's get right into it so i'm going to focus on five star characters so the first one i'm going to talk about is fenny now i am not going to lie all of fenny's manifestation makes her absolutely amazing like every single one now one thing that is definitely important is the first one over here because crown of thorns states no longer has a time limit this state will remain until all mercy points are consumed which is great however obviously you need to be able to get more mercy points so essentially the second one actually helps with that because each pallet you hit now gives you 1.7 mercy points instead of the regular one let me go ahead and show you right now so i believe it is uh, crown of thorns so let's go ahead and take a look at this skill crown of thorns is the last no okay it's this one over here this is essentially your buffing uh for fenny to make sure she deals more damage however right now you only get about 1.2 mercy points so from the manifestation for the second one you get 1.7 essentially when the first uh, manifestation is unlocked you're able to basically have unlimited crown of thorns as long as you have mercy points so essentially you might still run into a problem that um, crown of thorns kind of ends relatively quicker so you want to go ahead and get this and increase the amount of mercy points you get so essentially the first one is important second one is important and uh, mercy points can now exceed the original limits so beyond the limits that is um, given in the game so where is the limit so the minute limit is 80 now let's say you've accumulated more than 80 then uh, it can exceed it that is good as well and then after that you are able to increase the amount of uh, the rates in which you obtain mercy and then the last one basically just increases her electric damage now from the manifestation you can tell what they're really focusing on is the first standard skill so we need to understand what this essentially does so crown of thorns basically um the, the, the increases fire rate of fenny and you already know how amazing fenny is she is a shotgun character she does extra huge amount of damage against enemies so being able to have this um you know proc every single time cooldown is only eight seconds and the s energy cost is 15 right now with the current states i have her so you can have the duration of crown of thorns for 12 seconds now obviously if you're able to extend this longer and increase the fire rate it means her damage will exceed very very high now what of the which of the manifestations sorry is important not gonna lie every single one of them is gonna make this character strong however i would say the first two are definitely important so i think stopping at the second manifestation from fenny will be appropriate but not gonna lie she is a character that i would say you need 
or you want to get all her manifestation but the second one in my opinion is where you can go ahead and stop if you want to work on other character now, now after Fenny, the next character we're going to be taking a look at is going to be Yao now in terms of her manifestation I also think getting to the second manifestation is going to be the best fit for her now as you can see I've already unlocked the first one but um yeah the second one I think is also going to be very important in making her very very good so let's take a look at what the first manifestation does so scorching star awakening can be used under solar fair states to reload the weapons new um solar storm wolves with scorching sun bliss which basically means once you are using our ultimates you can essentially also use the scorching sun awakening which is the ammo that does extra damage and surrounding damage as well so essentially what you're doing is pairing up this skill and well as well as the effect of this skill as well which is very very good now since i've unlocked this my yao has been able to deal insane amount of damage now the reason why the second one is also important is because you are also going to be able to reduce the cooldown of her first skill so the first skill has a cooldown of nine seconds but when you get the second manifestation basically when you enter your ultimate the cooldown of the first skill will reduce by um to three seconds not by three seconds but two three seconds which basically means you will be able to spam the scorching sun awake a lot more now also basically all of their stacks so all of the scorching sun awakening i believe you get three stacks basically recharges immediately you when you uses use your ultimate which essentially allows you to deal extra damage so both manifestations are very very strong and they actually pair well together going over to the third manifestation it's going to basically allow her to use her ultimate a second time a lot faster than the first time so essentially your ultimate you'll be able to do it a lot faster dealing extra damage because now her main damage is going to be coming from the serene resurrection since you can pair it up with the scorching sun awakening which basically insanely increases her damage and that's why her damage becomes even stronger so in sense you can also go for the third one to be able to use your ultimate a second time a lot faster but i think going ahead and stopping at the second one will be amazing however if you realize that okay i've noticed that in content i need to use my ultimate a second time just to be able to clear it completely then sure you can go ahead and stop at the third one now the fourth one basically reduces the cooldown of scorching sun awakening to eight seconds so originally nine seconds to eight not really that a hype i'm not gonna lie and then the f uh, last one for each bullet of the weapon new solar storm final damage is increased by two percent kind of good as well but once again second and third is where i will actually stop in terms of yao she is going to be absolutely amazing for damage now the next character we're going to be taking a look at is akasha and in my opinion i will be getting she's going to be the character i'm going to try to unlock all of her manifestation because i think she is technically a future proof character because the amount of damage reduction she gives is going to be amazing and with the manifestation i think she becomes even stronger now a lot stronger and her supportive ability is going to be increased even more now obviously with a standard skill this is when you want to use her as your main damage dealer however i think the moon hate is the main skill you want to prioritize and because the manifestation also prioritizes the moon halo as well which basically they want you to use her as a, your supportive character so essentially the first manifestation let's go ahead and take a look at this which increases the aoe of uh kangen moon dart by 50 percent which is basically the supportive skill increasing the aoe means you can hit more opponents you don't have to get as close as you would regularly so this is actually great but not that op now going over to the second one this is where things pops off so when equipped with a frost weapon you must be using your frost weapon to benefit from this um increases kangen moon darts resistant reduction effect by 40 percent now if i am correct with this this basically means you are able to reduce the resistance reduction effect by 40 percent so taking a look at the second one this skill is basically she throws a kangen moon darts towards the flies around the spots and flies around the spots target for 10 seconds dealing force damage to enemies and applying the moon tide effect which decreases their all type resistant 
by 24%. Now that all type resistance by 24% is basically a reduction in the damage resistance that the character has, which basically means you will be dealing a lot more damage than you would regular, regularly do. Now that effect is from the moon tide though. So in the sense, the second manifestation basically says increases Kangen Moon Dust resistance reduction effect by 40%. Does that mean that the Kangen Moon Dust will deal extra damage since they have a reduction to they themselves have a defense reduction or resistance reduction by 40 percent or does that mean it's basically another damage reduction or not damage reduction a defense reduction technically which allows you to deal extra 40 percent to the opponent plus the 24 percent you have over here if that is true 24 plus the 40 percent is going to be 64 percent or does this mean that um, the 40% instead of 24% it will be 40% now? I am very confused on that skill but I'm just guessing that this basically is a defense reduction of 40%. If this is correct already this is insane. Now the third one it isn't that amazing but basically increases the duration of all crescent moon darts by 2 seconds which is basically the ultimate able to increase the duration from um, is it I don't know how much actually uh creates a lunar okay so zero points i don't even know so it's just increasing the the darts flying around and increasing the duration by two seconds which is obviously going to increase the damage but not that much now going over to the fourth one this is where things I, I i got a little bit confused so resistance reduction inflicted by the moon tide increases to 26.4 percent so originally it's 24 percent but obviously now it goes that up to 26.4 but once again this got me confused because of the second manifestation which basically increases the resistance reduction effect by 40 percent so does this mean it is 40 percent plus the 26.4 percent I'm not really too sure, but if it is like that, then I do think the damage and uh, the defense reduction she provides is insanely amazing for dealing extra damage. Now, the last one basically decreases Moon Hollow's cooldown um, to 15 seconds, which originally it is 20 seconds. So you already know how good this is. So if I'm correct with this character and she basically provides you with multiple damage reduction or defense reduction, sorry, to the enemy and it allows you to deal extra damage then she is going to be an amazing defense um the amazing supportive character but then again i could be wrong in that um understanding of this second manifestation but i think second manifestation is simply important and then after that you can technically stop but i want to make sure she's going to be my main supportive character throughout but as you can notice from the majority of character the second manifestation is usually where you want to stop so let's go ahead and take a look at the next character who is life and i don't actually own this character so scroll down life is over here so with life our first manifestation is simply going to make sure that she's able to deal more damage from her frost wolves and honestly this skill does insane amount of damage this character life in general is a great mob clearing character and her damage will increase significantly from that first manifestation now going over to the second one increasing the damage final damage of each frost fang launch by dire wolves uh, sentinels by five percent max five stacks so obviously this is also quite great but not that op now the next one increases the max limit of breath of snow to 500 breath of snow originally has 300 now it's going to be increased to 500 once again allowing her to deal insane amount of damage from the standard skill so with life it looks like most of her manifestation focuses on her using a standard skill which essentially means she is mainly meant to be played as a main dps unit oh one thing i forgot to mention is that the um, direwolf sentinels or this manifestation is more focused on the um, ultimate ability so being able to deal extra damage from the ultimates and our ultimate once again allows you to in, uh, well, kill a lot of opponents basically and you can also freeze the targets as well so honestly her damage is going to skyrocket with the manifestation when you get this so um like i said the third one focuses more on the standard skill which allows her to deal extra damage and now last well the fourth one sorry increases damage of um frost wolves uh, thanks to 21% of life's attack by uh, plus 8 so if I'm remembering correctly this is it now I don't know the original value because it says right now it's already that value 
so maybe it's because i don't have the character so i can't actually see the original one but the explosion of this basically you are going to be able to increase this which basically allows her to deal extra damage once again from her standard skill and then the last one decreases breath of um, breath of snow consumption for each frost fang by 2020 so i believe it is um wait was this breath of snow consumption frost fang frost fang is also the first one so once again her main ma her manifestation basically is just focused on her dealing more damage to the mobs and essentially she will be absolutely amazing for mob clearing trust me on that and her damage is going to skyrocket in terms of the most important one obviously the first one is the most important one but if you get all the way to the third one i think this is definitely going to be good as well um the fourth one and then the fifth one basically just increases the damage overall so honestly She's also a unit that all her manifestation will essentially allow her to do more damage and essentially make her very very strong so another character that you might want to go ahead and get all the manifestation first one being an important one and then the last two ones essentially allowing her to um, deal more damage from her standard skill allowing her to clear more tankier mobs so life that is it with her manifestation going over to fratia the five star version so basically her manifestation is basically set around her ultimate ability so uh last standing flame can be continuously unleashed but it consumes more and more you energy which basically allows you to use this ability a lot longer so in terms of duration of lasting flames wait actually uh okay originally the duration is four seconds but now you are able to extend the duration even more so allowing you to deal more damage which is great however there is still an issue with the ultimate ability because you get attacked you're unable to move which kind of hurts this character now the second one over here when unleashing lost in flame uh, Fretia obtains one stack of fire god protection every 0.5 seconds now the reason why this is important is essentially to protect her when she is using her ultimate skill so when she's using the ultimate skill she isn't protected by anything and it hurts her so basically uh one stack of fire god protection i believe is part of this skill but it essentially gives her which basically allows her um so when hit operated loses one stack of fire god protection and reverse flame is triggered damage taken from this hit is reduced by 50 percent so essentially when she's using her ultimate and she has the second manifestation unlocked the damage reduction well she will have a damage reduction of 50 percent on herself which is absolutely amazing so one stack of fire of the um so she's going to obtain this a lot so obviously the second manifestation is the most important one for fighter and definitely more important than you think because if you want if well if you have this character you already know that the ultimate looks cool but it's very very unpractical because you get damage because you're just standing there taking damage so having the opportunity or the ability to um, protect yourself reduce the damage you take by 50 percent is obviously going to be absolutely amazing so very very important when lost in flame hits a burning target recovers extra energy which pairs well with this one because now you're going to be able to spam a lost in flame even more so one two three works well together and i honestly think this character once you get all the manifestation for her you are going to be able to use your ultimate for a very long time long duration and as long as you position yourself in the right place you can basically spam that laser for a very long time now this character is going to be absolutely amazing in co-op where you have other of our teammates helping you guys they take aggro or they make the enemies focus on them whilst you just stand in a very good position beam that laser onto the enemy and kill so honestly she is like an amazing co-op character so going over to the fourth skill a fourth manifestation until pain and skill plus one basically increases damage of last in flame per it basically increasing the damage even more great uh for each obtained stack of fire got protection increases damage reduction by five percent basically all of this essentially makes her ultimate be such a huge amount of damage do such a huge amount of damage as well as also protect herself so honestly she is a character that once you get the manifestation i don't know what test she will be in but i honestly say can say that she will be very very strong like top tier character so in terms of the manifestation as important the second one is but honestly go ahead and unlock every single one now the last character we're going to be taking a look at is mariam now i'm never gonna lie she's a character i don't really know too much information on so i might need to take a time to understand her manifestation um, but in terms of using man of um, marion you basically want to use her as your main damage dealer so let's go ahead and take a look at the manifestation okay so after taking a look at the first manifestation 
I would say this is definitely very, very important. So basically, uh, Fracture Feather Marks basically allows you to basically always hit the target. So when you use your standard skill, um, da -da 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 -da, you mark the target with Falling Feather for 3 seconds and the next standard shot will automatically lock onto the target. Now the cooldown for this uh, standard skill is 5 seconds which means you can not definitely go ahead and, and you know, shoot this at the enemy the next time and the charge is 2 but you can also increase the charge shot to 3 so that is good so essentially this allows you to always hit the opponent now with the manifestation basically the duration of fractured feather mark increases to 3.5 seconds and then charge the cloud shot no longer consumes fractured feather and instead resets the mark duration this basically like i said allows you to always hit that target without worrying about um, the consumption of the fractured feather marks which is definitely going to allow you to deal more damage to that specific enemy that is very very strong now the second one when marion standard shot hits the cloud um, shot mark increases the shot ballistic damage by 25 percent which basically allows her to deal more damage second skill also very very important if you're going to be running her as your main damage dealer which is looking like the main role the game wants her to be so when equipped with a kinetic weapon decreases the cooldown of cloud shot to four seconds once again focusing on the cloud shot allowing her to deal more of this since the cooldown will be reduced to four seconds which is also great now going over to the fourth one increases damage of cloud shot to 28 percent of marion's attack like i said the skills are focusing all on this making sure the damage is good making sure that you can always hit that enemy making sure that the cooldown is reduced and then lastly after defeating an enemy target using cloud shot instantly replenish one bullet and recovers consumed s energy this character gonna be absolutely insane when you're using her standard skill you basically are going to be spamming this standard skill a lot and this is going to be very very good you spam the shots your regular shots your, your normal attack and then you also use the cloud shot and this is where you or how you use this character and honestly i think this character's damage is going to be very very good so honestly every single five star character i mentioned in today's video like i've said in previous video every single five star characters are insane they are very very strong when you get the manifestation as well fracture becomes a beast with her ultimate skill be able to beam for a very long time replenish energy protect herself as well mariam allows her to do the standard shot a lot better a lot faster and deal more damage replenish it much faster and always hit your target very very nice and then for the third one uh, with life basically allowing her to be your main mob clearing character essentially aoe from life is going to be absolutely insane you can always rely on her to deal insane amount of damage you want to be running her as a main damage dealer as well um in terms of the next few characters we have um um akashia which her main role from the manifestation is the moon halo which is basically a supportive skill making sure that she's good for supportive skill reducing the defense of characters or the resistance of characters that is actually very very strong and then we also have yao which basically just helps both the um the standard skill as well as the ultimate allowing her to deal insane amount of single shot attack and then with fenny allowing her to have this um, buff always on allowing her to increase the fire rate and also able to do electric aoe damage this is also very very good so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video sorry that this video is relatively long but this is to understand it, which manifestation is important for every single five star character in the game it's been your boy ac gamer don't forget to like and subscribe and i'm out